hello, hello to all of my Geminis. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Geminis. Hopefully you all are having a great day. I know you're setting those intentions, Geminis. I know you are. Speaking things into existence. Mars and Uranus are currently retrograde, Gemini. That's important because when planets go retrograde, we know they don't move backwards and they don't move at a slower pace. That gives you an opportunity to kind of sort of slow down and decide for Mars where you're going to put that energy, where you're going to put that fire. When you think about certain people, places, and things, it may leak your energy. That's not where you want to put your energy. You got to use that energy for something that you're praying for, that you're asking source for, right? So here we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Page of Wands and the Two of Swords. Yeah. Somebody has given a lot of power and energy to something that has been keeping them up at night. What in the world? Wait a minute. Here we have the nine of swords. We have the two of swords and the three of swords, right? Something was like really deeply disappointing. Maybe you, you, you know, you found out somebody was talking about you behind your back. Maybe somebody really just hurt you and somebody just kind of sort of shut down. Somebody shut down, says, you know what? I'm putting my guards up. I got on blindfolds. I'm thinking about stuff in the past that happened to me. And because you all are such smart signs, I mean, you all are air signs. All air signs are smart. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, all of you all are smart, very smart, intelligent. Um, this is not something you want to give energy to, Gemini. This is not something, because you all are mutable signs. This is not something you want to go with the flow with, right? Of just keep going, you know, thinking about something that happened in the past and just replaying it over and over and over again in your mind. So I'm going to tell you, like I've been telling the other signs, when you're having sleepless nights about things, there are some things that you can do to empower yourself. I mean, like the element of air is connected to the heart chakra. This is a good stone right here for you all to uh, focus on forgiveness. Forgiveness is for you, not necessarily for the other person. It's for you. It's also a love stone if you're trying to um, attract new love, not just romantic love, agape love, like friendships, that kind of love, right? But I do see I do see some new inspiration coming across somebody's path. We have the um, Ace of Wands and also the Page of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a page in the Page of Wands. That could come in the form of, the inspiration could come in the form of a new romantic interest for somebody. It can also come in the form of just new inspiration. So again, this is fire energy right here. You all are air signs. So this fire, Mars, you know, fire energy, right? That's what you're passionate about. Um, any kind of energy leaks in your life, it doesn't matter who or what it is. It doesn't matter how long ago or how recent it was. When you think about it, it a person, place, a thing, and you start getting frustrated and you just like, okay, I just want to shut down. Where are all the good people? I must land on a different planet. Like, what the heck is going on? Forgive. I mean, really, it sounds easier said than done, but forget people. Like, seriously, just forgive people. We got too much moving on in the un going on in the universe. Forgive people, and, and you may not have known what, what uh, planets were retrograde. You may not have known what phase the moon was in. You may not know what's going on in their personal lives. None of that stuff. Just like they don't know what's going on in yours. Forgive people. You deeply disappointed, sever ties with them and move on, if that's the case. Or create a very firm boundary so that if you're going to keep them in your life, they have to know certain things that they've done to you. Just doesn't nurture your spirit. It doesn't feel good to your spirit because now you know your moon sign, right? Go pull your birth chart. But don't go out spending. This card is almost, it's like it's coming up in almost every reading. And I'm laughing because... It looks like a lot of people go shopping or start spending a lot of money when they get stressed, right? And so that's great for brands, you know, that you're going out. But does it really nurture your spirit? Like when you got to ask yourself, does it really stop you from being, you know, staying up at night and that kind of thing? So a um, couple of the other signs like, yep, I, I just made some major purchases. So that's true. So this card seems to be coming up. This four of pentacles is coming up in a lot of signs. Um, so again, this, this reading is for the entire month of November. Again, be gentle with yourselves, you know, forgive yourselves from giving, giving it so much power, whoever it is giving them or it so much power, but you don't want to, uh, what you, here we have the two of swords. This is a person who is, has swords in their hand. Imagine having on blindfolds and swords in your hand. So people that are approaching you, you're just using those swords on everybody, right? And because you all are such excellent communicators, that could be going off, telling somebody off. And you're just like, oh my God, you know what? I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have been that harsh. 
you know, maybe I'm just extra sensitive because maybe somebody else hurt me and here come new people coming across my path and I'm going, I'm just taking it out on them. So you want to be real careful with that because the energy of money is also connected to your relationships with people. It's also connected to your relationships with people. So I do see somebody, you know, keep looking back at the past when God has already brought you into the light, like enlightened you about something and says, hey, leave the past in the past. I don't care if it happened last week, last month, whatever. Forgive people, move on, because I got some great things that lie ahead for you, Gemini, some great things in the form of your income, at least eight streams of income and financial independence. I'm telling you, whatever whatever it is but but don't go out and start frivolously spending money because source is trying to keep get you to keep more money in your pocket right so somebody is like really learning about themselves on this long and arduous journey of like when things get when i get stressed out because you're ruled by mercury you automatically and because you're divine masculine by default and this has nothing to do with gender has everything to do with how we process things because your default is to send out a message to the universe through communication, Mercury is the communication planet. It could cut like a like a sword with your words, you know, when you're stressed. Or you could just go out and start spending, spending, spending. And sources like, no, what lessons did you learn about yourself on this long and arduous journey through all of your relationships in your life that you have you are on the now on the other side of all of that? What did you learn about yourself? So, like I said before, new inspiration is coming across somebody's path. Also, we have the ace of swords. This is where you're asking yourself about what your motive is. What what is your motive? Somebody's giving away a lot of power. What is your motive? What is your motive? What is your motive? What is your motive, right? And then also we have the Knight of Swords, getting as far away from any um, any thoughts of demonizing people or even the feeling of people trying to demonize or dehumanize you, right? So again, this is you learning how to take your power back. You're wiser now. You're more knowledgeable. You, you Your throat chakra is in alignment. We're looking at this right here. And so Source is trying to put you in a very powerful position. So this is where somebody is not operating in vengeance at all. It's like, you know what? Let me, let me forgive. Let me move on from something. If I, have, if I still have to interact with certain people, because not, it's not as cut and dry for everybody where you, just have, you can just cut everybody off. Sometimes you have to still connect with certain people, right? So if, if that's the case where you still have to communicate with them, whether verbally, uh, non-verbally, or whatever, everything in between, that's where you're creating very firm boundaries. And those firm boundaries for somebody is just, like I said, protecting yourself, doing things like listening to high vibrational music when you lay down to rest, uh, developing a uh, practice of um, meditating and praying and saging and gemstones and crystals, taking spiritual baths, spiritual showers, whatever works best for you, Gemini, is what I see you doing, right? Then that's part of you learning about yourself, like really just saying, you know what, I, I know what I need to do so I don't come across as going off on people verbally when I get stressed out about things, right? Because again, that's all tied to your money. It's also tied to your money because uh, time, um, um, time is currency. And so it's the time that you put out there. What do you use with your time for? You may be able to justify this why I cussed this person out or this why I went off on this person or whatever the case may be. But again, later on down the line, you know, there could be some kind of business deal or something that they connected to somebody else that's connected to you. So here we have the two of pentacles. So I do see somebody learning how to balance out their daily affairs when it comes to their money. So this, again, you tapping into your creativity, but you got to stop looking back at the past. If you can do that, if you can stop, you know, like every time the thought comes up in your mind, that's the whole purpose of listening to high vibrational music to meditation music is constantly flushing that out. Sometimes you just need to flush it out however often you need to. Some people drive listening to meditation music, not hypnosis music, but meditation music, something high vibrational so you can flush all of that. So when you walk into, if you have to go to work, you walk into the office with, you know, with high in high frequency, high vibration. Let's see what else we have here. Five of wands. Yeah. Five of wands. Some of you all have come out of relation because this, this is more than just one person. This is not just one person. I'm speaking to everything in your universe, all parts of your universe, personal life, professional life, whatever, every, love life, everything. Where's the card? 
the nine of swords is not about rest, right? It's about, you know, restlessness. Like, you know, something is keeping me up at night. I just can't, it just keeps coming up, whether it's coming up and downloaded in your daydreams or your night dreams or whatever, but something is disrupting my sleep. Something is disrupting my rest. If it's leaking your energy and it's causing you throughout the day or whatever time of day you go on about your business to hurt other people with your words or with your actions, it's you should identify that as an energy leak, not as an energy hack, right? And those things are disrupting your money also. So if you could think about sometimes you you know what some you feel like you you feel like you're getting short tempered about something, it's best to just stop talking all together or just walk away. If you can, just you know what? Or get off the phone. Let me disconnect. Let me disconnect because I already see I already feel I'm about to say something that that I don't want to mess up my money. I don't want to mess up my future relationships with people. So that's what I'm saying for you all. And certainly not going out and just frivolously spending. Here we have the Page of Cups. Again, new inspiration is coming across somebody's past. So this could be in the form of a romantic relationship, right? So if it's a romantic relationship, you keep replaying it over and over and over again. I let this person in my life for years. And, and every time I think about them, I get frustrated. It could have been a friendship, a romantic relationship. It could have been a job. It could be all of the above that just has you really upset and you're giving a lot of air to it. You're an air sign. You're giving a lot of air to it. That's where you say, you know what? Let me just shut everything down. Let me shut everything down and let me find out. Let me pull my birth chart. Let me find out what my moon sign is. It's going to make a lot of sense when you realize some things just didn't nurture your universe. It just didn't nurture your spirit. It didn't feel like soul food to your spirit. And then it's going to make sense. I have a lot of people who uh, who call me and, and say, you know what? I'm so glad I pulled my birth chart. Now a lot of things are starting to make sense to me. And so I don't feel so bad about X, Y, and Z, right? Here we have meditate. Mm -hmm. That's right, meditate. Somebody is learning how to put this into practice on a regular basis. Meditation. That's right, Geminis. I love this for you. I love this for you because somebody has given an enormous amount of power to something. And I get it. I understand why somebody keeps looking back at their past, especially if you put a number of years into something and you found out that something cut you like a sword. Maybe somebody betrayed you, ran a smear campaign, left you vulnerable, whatever they did. It's best to go ahead and sever ties with that and move on. But a personal issue reaches resolution and somebody can feel it. Somebody can feel like a personal issue is reaching a resolution, right? So again, identify your energy leaks and what you're, you know, and and what you are, because it looks like some people who have betrayed you in the past, no matter how much you try to warm up to them, they just outright just burned you. And so I, when I look at your cards, there's an enormous amount of compassion here. I get it. I completely get it. But if it's coming out on other people, that's also this disrupting or disrupting the flow of what source is trying to send to you. So you, that's something you definitely want to be careful about. I am independent. That's right. 17 reduces to eight. One plus seven is eight. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. Mm-hmm. Yes, Gemini's, you got a lot of good things coming your way. Like I said before, if if this calls for, I mean, if you've been friends with somebody for years and you found out they talking about you behind your back or they did something that really cut you like a sword and a friend could also end up being a spouse, a friend could also end up being a colleague, you know, but it starts with the agape love, whoever or whatever it is that really hurt you. Forgive them and decide where or if they have access to your universe anymore. But forgiveness is going to be key here. Forgiveness is going to really be key here. And let's see what else we have here, Geminis. Let's see. Okay, we got your number. And let's pull one last. Let's pull your affirmations card. Let's pull your affirmation card and see what, what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here, your affirmation card. Wisdom. Yep, yeah, that's what this card is right here. 
wisdom right here, this uh, King of Swords, put you in a very powerful position. I am a lifelong learner. I listen more than I speak. I listen to understand, not to reply. Divine wisdom flows freely into my life. I make wise decisions. I am prudent. I am patient. There it is. That's what I have for you, Geminis. Thank you so much for joining me and tuning in. I will see you all on Sunday. Bye.